Hello friends, welcome to Tech Tutorials with Mobisoft. In this video, we are going to see how to use Amazon's SageMaker to deploy Meta's Llama 3.1 8 billion instruct model. Just to ensure that if you are using AWS SageMaker for the first time, I am using a brand new account to show you the initial setup for the SageMaker. When you start using SageMaker, you first need to set it up for a single user or organization. Setting it up for a single user is quite easy. So let's go with that. This will take a few minutes. It's done. Status is still pending. So we have to wait. I am pausing the video at this point and we will come back once it is done. Now the status is ready, so our domain is ready to use. Now let's go to the menu and let's go to the Amazon SageMaker Studio. Here we have to select a profile, but since we are doing this for the first time, we will have to create one. Okay, I will accept the default name for now. SageMaker Studio New. Next. We are happy with this for now. Click next. This is also fine. Now let's create it. So it's created. Now let's go again to the studio. Open the studio. We don't want a tour. Let's start a Jupyter notebook. We first need to create a space. This is fine. Share with my domain is what we will select. And our space should be ready. For normal Jupyter operations, T3 medium instance should be fine. So we just start it. It's taking some time. It's ready now. So we open it. It's loading. So we start a new Python 3 kernel and we are ready. Let's rename it Llama 3.18b. So we are ready to start coding. So we need to get the Llama model files. For that, we will be using Hugging Face. Meta has released all its Llama models on Hugging Face, but these are gated models. To use them, you need to apply for its access. So I am showing you this another model where I have not yet applied for access. So there is this long license agreement that you need to read properly. Once you do that, you have to add in your information and you have to submit. After submission, I have seen that within 45 minutes or so, your access should be approved. Once your access is approved, you will get an email from Hugging Face. After that, you can start using that model. So let's start coding. To make this faster, I have already created all the code required. So I will paste it here line by line and I will explain it to you. So first we are defining the model ID. Then let's import a bunch of libraries that are needed. To run this, you press shift enter. Next, we create our SageMaker execution rule and initiate the hub dictionary where we specify the hub model ID, number of GPUs that we are using and we need a hugging face hub token that you can create in your Hugging Face account. Next, we are asserting that we have actually provided this token. Next, we are getting the image URI. This is the Docker image that will be used to run our code. Let's run this. Now, let's create our Hugging Face model class and deploy a model. So here we are creating our hugging face model 
and deploying it. Once we deploy this, we will actually get a model in our SageMaker models area. And this model will be also deployed as an endpoint, which we can use for inferencing. So let's run this. This takes a few minutes to run. So I will come back once the model is ready. So the model is trained and ready. Let's go to our SageMaker Studio. Go to Models tab. Then go to Deployable Models and you see that we have our model here. Next, I need deployments and endpoints. See, our endpoint is ready and it's in service. Now, we are ready to make inferences. So, first, we need to create our prompt. Prompt transformers import auto tokenizer. Here, we are creating our tokenizer and passing two messages to it. One is a system message and other is a user message. Let's keep it simple for now. Then we need to tokenize the prompt so that we can use it with the endpoint. Next, we need to configure some parameters for the prediction. Let me run both of these cells. Next, we need to create a deserializer, which is a JSON one. And here we actually predict so it will take a few seconds for prediction it took 8.95 seconds here now let's print the response so here it explains what llms are so this is fine for a demo in a notebook now we want to call this endpoint from a Node.js API. So let's see that next. So to invoke this endpoint, we will need a IAM user and we will need to attach a IAM role policy to it. I have already created that user and I have attached this policy to that user, which allows us to invoke this endpoint. Then we need an env file where we need the AWS access key and secret key for the user. We will need the region, AWS region, and we will need the SageMaker endpoint name. So once we have these configs set up, let's start the NPM project. Okay, we need to install a few packages. We need express body parser dot env to load the environment file and AWS SDK SageMaker client. So our dependencies are here. Now let's create a JS file. So let's start coding. Let's first import all the required packages, express, body parser, the SageMaker client, .env. Then we create the express server, specify a port for it, create our post endpoint, and start listening on the given port. There are these two functions, generate formatted string. This formats the input body of our API to a format that the LLM will understand. And another function is parse response to parse the response from the LLM to show it to the user. So I am adding those two functions also. The JS code is pretty much self-explanatory. I will put the link to the GitHub repo in the description of the video so you can go through it. Now let's start the server and test it via Postman. So here is our endpoint slash predict. 
it is a post method in the body we expect a messages which is an array of messages first message is the system role message and the second message is the user role message so let's send this and here we have our answer now that we are done with our experimentation it's important to delete all the resources that we have created so let's make sure that we will stop the jupyter notebook then we should go to deployments endpoints and delete the endpoint then we should go to models deployable models and delete the model so that was the process to deploy betas Llama 3.1 model on AWS SageMaker. We also saw how to access the AWS SageMaker endpoint via a Node.js Express API so that you can actually use that in your application. If you found this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Also, please share it with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.